Okay, so first things first, we're going to read Arctic Lights, Arctic Nights. Okay. So here's the introduction. Let me zoom in. It'll maybe hopefully a little better. Um, look at that. It's our old friend, Alaska. During my travels to schools across America, many children have asked me questions about the dynamics of light in Alaska and the Arctic. Is it dark in Alaska all the time? What are the northern lights and who turns them on? How do you sleep in the summer if it is always light? Though these questions inspired me to write a book about the light in Alaska and how it changes from month to month. Alaska is a vast state. The amount of light and snowfall and the range in temperatures have extreme variations depending on where you stand. If you live in Barrow, way up here, um, Alaska's northernmost Inupat community, you experience 84 days of continuous light during the summer. 84 days. That's almost three months. Like without any darkness? Yep. I would actually it says, uh, Inupat community. Oh, I just read that. If you live in the more southerly locations, such as Juno, Juno is here, or Kitchen is here. You do not experience 24-hour daylight or the complete loss of sun. The amount of light above the Arctic Circle, the latitude where one first begins to see a never-setting sun, is very different than the amount of light farther south. So above the Arctic Circle, there's never-setting sun, but below, the, you do get some sunset. Okay. Our family lives in Fairbanks. Right yeah, right under the little Arctic Circle. Yeah. Our family lives in Fairbanks, Alaska's second largest city. Fairbanks lies in the heart of our state, about 115 miles south of the Arctic Circle. The seasonal description of Alaska is based on the light and average temperatures of Fairbanks. So the data we're going to be looking at is for Fairbanks, which is 150 miles south of the Arctic Circle. Um, although the sun sets here for a few hours during the summer, we still experience constant light as the sun falls only a few degrees before the, below the horizon. So, like, you know how you go out sometimes and it's just after, they say sun sets at such and such a time, but you can still see light beyond the time that you can see the sun? Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying. It only sets just below the horizon, so you can still see light 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even though the light, the sun's not in the sky, because it doesn't go too far below the horizon line, you can still see it. Um... During the winter, we lose direct sunshine for much of the day. We have long periods of twilight when you can see outside. It is never completely dark all day long. Even places such as Barrow experience several hours of twilight during their sunless days. So even here, way up at the top, it says is never completely, they still have several hours of twilight. Can you imagine all the time just being like the dawn's just coming up and that's all the light you get for all day? I, I, would, like like cool it, I would like it to be like a light all day so you can play all day and night mm -hmm. if you're not tired. It's cool except if you know deer run at twilight and dawn, that's hazardous. To my car's health. What? Yeah, so um, they have a lot of what's called sad seasonal effective. Um, I think it's a seasonal defective disorder, but um, 
basically when you don't get enough light you get really sad uh, and so people that live there a lot of times have to do what's called light therapy they have to like lay under lights or sit under lights and try to get enough light to compensate and a lot of times you have to take medicine to compensate for it All right, um, the, light in the, the light of Alaska in the Arctic is dynamic and beautiful from its midnight sun colors and dancing northern lights to its lingering twilight and pink alpine glow. This book is a team effort to describe the beauty, drama, and unusual features of our changing light in the far no of the far north. All right. So here's our little moose friend. I think it's a moose. Splash drip. Okay, so this is June 21st. It's summer solstice. There are 21 hours and 49 minutes of daylight. Hold on. 21 hours, 41 minutes of daylight in Alaska. Or 40, 49, sorry. 49 minutes of daylight. Sun rises at 1.58 a.m. Sunset is 11.47 p.m. The average high for temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The average low is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe I need to move there in the summer. Splash strip. A, cow's moose, a cow moose dunks her head and clips off some lily pads. Her calf splashes through the water behind her. Oh, he's there. I didn't even see him. You see the little, her little calf behind him? That, that stinks. He would get shot. You are right. The first two words are onomatopoeia because it describes sound. Good job. All right. So, splash. Splash drip. A cow moose dunks her head and clips off some lily pads. Her calf splashes through the water behind her. Across the lake, a pair of trumpeter swans dabble for food. So you can kind of see the trumpeter swans behind them. So they're dabbling for food. In the evening, mosquitoes softly whine. Yuck. And the songs of thrushes drift through the cooling air. On summer solstice, the top of the world tilts towards the sun. So they're at the top of the world, right? So they're tilting towards the sun. Um, light and new life flood the land. During this longest day of the year, the sun shines brightly for all but a few hours. The midnight sun briefly hides behind the tallest mountain, but there is no darkness. So, we have the first daylight hours in Alaska. It says there are 21 hours, 21 hours, oh, it just says hours, right? I'm going to put 21 hours, 49 minutes, and that's, 49 is closer to, is it closer to an hour or is it closer to no hours? So, we're probably going to bump this one up to 22, right? Yeah. Do we just, can we put it next to 21? I don't have room, so. Alright. Turning the page. Oh my gosh, these pictures, I'm telling you. Uh, July 21st, so that was June 21st, this is July 21st. 19 hours, 24 minutes of daylight. So let's go ahead and write that. 19 hours, 24 minutes of daylight. What do we do with the number that's We'll deal with it when we get there. Okay. Uh, is it going to be closer to 19 or 20? 19. So this would be closer to 19. 
Sunrise is at three. It's actually in your book. Um, sunrise is 3.14 a.m. Sunset is 10.34 p.m. Average high is 72 degrees. Average low is 53. This is my, calling to my heart. You could wear shorts. It's not getting too hot. It's just bliss. Hop, hop, pause. A snowshoe hare scampers across the meadow near the edge of the forest. She wears a summer coat that blends with the color of the earth. Her month-old hare nibbles on a blade of grass and is ready for life uh, to live on its own. The day grows shorter, but there's still no darkness. There's her little baby. The sun just hides a little longer below the northern horizon. Sunset colors linger until the sun rises again and follows a circular path around the top of the spinning world. I'm telling you what, I like the temperature in this place. All right, here we go. Now we are in August. We have 15 hours and 50 minutes of daylight. 15 hours and 50 minutes of daylight is closer to 16. Don't you love how we're using estimating right now? Okay, you ready? A ground squirrel warns other squirrels that grizzlies are near. Like the mother bear and her cubs, the squirrels are busy feeding on plants to get fat so can survive the long winter. The sun drops. Lower on the horizon, darkness has returned, and nights bring the first frost. Brr, frost? About seven minutes of daylight slip away each day. That's crazy, seven minutes away. With shorter days and temperatures falling, many birds feel the urge to migrate south. Wait, we didn't read the sunrise. I'm, go I'm going. Sunrise is 4.58 a.m. Sunset is 8.48 p.m. Average high is 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Average low is 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That's still decent temperatures. I like 60s. It's like amazing. Okay, September 21st is the fall equinox. So this is, it turns fall, right? So we move from summer to fall. Fall equinox, 12 hours and 22 minutes of daylight. So this is 12 hours, 22 minutes, it's closer to what? 12 hours. Now, <clears throat> what I want you to think about is this. June, July, you don't have to, but I want you to think about this. June, July, and August are hot, right? Those are the summer months, right? June, July, and August is summer. Um, I'm going to make fall, should I make fall orange or red? Orange. I'm going to do one or the other. So here's my orange for fall is September, October, November. Yeah, I'm going to do light blue for winter and then spring maybe green. All right. So then December, January, February is winter, right? Um, 
I'm only showing you this because I think it's going to help. Right? I think this is going to help. And then I want green for... Uh-oh, what did I miss? June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Oh, it goes back to June. Oh, my gosh. They had me totally bamboozled for a minute. No, because it's June, so I'm going to make them back to yellow, right? Because these are roughly the seasons, correct? Yep. So here's June again. So um, the it so let's let's key code it. So this is summer, right? Fall. Winter. And then we go to spring, right? And usually the changeover for seasons is either the 20th or the 21st. It's either the 20th or the 21st is when we change to when we change our seasons. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. I was too busy reading. So my friend said, Miss Richardson, look, at the very top of the page, it's all basically a little bit of orange. It's most of you yellow. Back to a little bit of orange at the way far side. And then, you go to the next month, there's a little bit of dark, a little bit of orange, whole lot of yellow, a little bit of orange, a little bit of dark. Then we have a little bit more black, a little bit of orange, whole, a lot of yellow, a little bit of orange, a, lot, a little bit of black. So there's a pattern in this. Hopefully we'll see the pattern in a little bit. So we got black and then orange and then a lot less yellow, I'm not going to lie. A little bit of orange and then a more black. All right, so now we're in September 21st. It's fall equinox. Uh, 12 hours and 22 minutes. We said that's closer to 12 hours of daylight. Sunrise is at 6.32 a.m. What time is our sunrise right now? It's not like it's it's seven thirty right now for us. Sunset is six fifty four. Um, sorry, I'm doing two things at one time. Our sun rise is seven thirty four right now for us. Seven thirty four for us. Um. Uh, sunset is 6.54 p.m. Average high is 51. Average low is 35. That's still decent weather. I could just live there for about four months of the year. Can you please have your attention? Right. Gar uh, The last sandhill cranes gather together. They grow restless on this blustery day. With long legged steps, they pump their huge wings towards the setting sun. Their trumpeting call ra calls rattles through the cold sky. The fall equinox marks the end of summer and the time when there is an equal amount of lightness and darkness. So fall equinox equal means there's equal amount of light and dark. Um, 
Within a few days, the nights will grow longer than the days and the temperature will seldom rise above freezing. All right. Now we are to October 21st, nine hours and two minutes of daylight. Nine hours, two minutes of daylight is closer to what time? How many hours? Nine hours. Okay. Sunrise is at 8.04 a.m. Sunset is at 5.06 p.m. Average high is 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Burr. Okay, I don't really want to be there written this month. October is not the month for me. Uh, average low is 12 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Look at how small the sun is. Now the sun will fit on our screen. That's how small. And it looks like these are two caribou. Yep. Oh, sorry, I did it. I'm sorry. Clack, clatter, bull, caribou, bull means male, fight for their mates. Head to head, they lock antlers through a veil of snow. Tracks appear again, showing the daily journeys of snowshoe hare and tarminigan or tarmigan. They wear new white coats to match their snowy world. The sun's arc drops lower as the top of the world angles away from its source of heat. White sky at Earth create flat light, and it is difficult to see where the land ends and the sky begins. That would be really hard. Can you imagine not knowing where the land ends and the sky begins? Now we are in November. November has five hours and 41 minutes of daylight. Holy quacks. Yes, that is a good point. Five hours and 41 minutes of daylight. Uh, how many, uh, what would we estimate to be? Like six. Six? Yes, it would be daylight in school, or nighttime, darkness at school. Uh... You, I mean, five hours and 41 minutes of daylight. So sunrise is 945. So you probably don't want to have recess before 10 o'clock in the morning. And sunset's 326 p.m. So you could probably have a lunch recess and the afternoon recess in the light. Average high is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Average low is negative four. Oh, so we're dropping three hours of daylight every single hour, or every single month. Uh, look at the sun. It's barely there. Says, a lone wolf howls to its mate on a ridge above the valley. His warm breath frosts his whiskers and eyelashes. As the temperature falls below zero, the lake ice cracks and moans. The full moon rises and the snow glitters. Although the nights are much longer, the moonlight reflects off the snow, making the forest appear lighter in September when there is no snow. So the forest is now lighter because of the snow and the, the moon's reflecting off the snow, right? Well, you must be on the next page. Three hours and 43 minutes of daylight, which is winter solstice. Um, so now we have three hours, three hours, 43 minutes of daylight. And that's about how many hours altogether? Four. Yeah, so winter solstice was December 21st, so it was a few days, like four days before Christmas. Now we had our spring solstice. 
Hold on. Right. Well, we. Yes, we just. Uh, sunrise is now at 10:58 a.m. So that is right about the time we get out of special would be sunrise. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a few minutes after special. It's like when we're reading punish. Sunset is 2:41 p.m. Average high is 6. Average low is <laughs> oh, sorry, negative 12, that's even worse. Hush, silence. Temperatures may fall to 40 degrees below zero. Their average low is negative 12, but they could fall to 40 degrees below zero. I'm telling you what, the hairs of my nose start freezing when we get below zero. Negative 40 is ridiculous. Cool, real cool. <laughs> All right. In the twilight, the moose nibble on twigs and bark to survive the winter. Oh, yeah. Oh, there they are. Thanks. So busy reading, I'm not catching all this stuff. Um, as Alaska blue sky grows dark, they bed down in the powdery snow. Burr. On winter solstice, the top of the world tilts away from the sun. The nights are long and the cold runs deep. During the shortest day of the year, a family bundles up and watches nature's holiday celebration. The magical northern lights dance and swirl across clear, icy sky. So these are the northern lights. I don't know that we, I don't know that I've ever seen them this far south. However, um, they put on some pretty cool light shows. Um, look at the sun. It's like barely. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot to look at that. The sun is like barely there. You are right. And it's, the sun is only up for three hours and 43 minutes. That's craziness. So, and up north, when, I, when, you, when I'm in up there. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine. All right. Um. Hopefully, I can finish this. I guess if not, we'll finish it on. Oh my God. All right. So now, January twenty-first, we have five hours and forty-eight minutes of daylight. So it's now coming what? Five hours. Forty-eight minutes is closer to what? Six hours. So now we're rising. So I, December 21st is the shortest day, longest night, and then it starts getting longer again. Sunrise is at 10.09 a.m. Sunset is 3.57 p.m. Average high is 1 degree. Average low is negative 15. <laughs> ha, literally cool. Hop, hop. A snowshoe hare scampers softly along her trail on quiet furry feet. Only her dark eyes reveal, reveal a white camouflaged body. The sun climbs thumb high above the southern horizon. So here's the sun up here. And it casting a long dark shadow across the snow. Days grow a little longer, but there is still no warmth. As the sun rolls beneath the horizon, the soft pink alpen glow so there's the pink alpine glow, right? Like Bays the snowy mountains. The yep, right here. He kind of almost looks like he blends in. Yeah. I'm actually special because I was born on the shortest day and longest night. Oh, cool. And um, I think I may have been born on midnight. Ooh, look at you. All right, now we are in February. Nine hours of, nine hours and nine minutes of daylight. Nine hours and nine minutes makes it 
Nine. So nine hours, nine minutes, nine. February 21st, nine hours and nine minutes of daylight. Oh my gosh, do you see those little bears bundled in? Sunrise is 831s, is 540. Average high is eight degrees. Average low is negative 18. Toss, churn, bears and ground squirrels are hibernating. See the ground squirrels over here. In their cozy dens, the ground squirrel shifts his position to control body temperature. Mother bear and her cubs nestle together for several months beneath the snow. Nights grow shorter. Each day brings seven to eight minutes more of light. So they lose seven or eight minutes. Now they're gaining seven or eight minutes. And the sun begins to feel warm. In the low angle sunshine, snow crystals become tiny prisms. Scattering the light, bright sparklers show the colors of the rainbow. As the sun climbs higher, the snow is sprinkled with glints, colorless crystals that reflect the sun's rays like miniature mirrors. And there is the sun at the top. It's getting bigger. What? Yeah, this is underground, correct. Uh, they, they'll dig it in the summertime, and then they go down, and, uh, they hibernate. So you don't want to go into a cave in the middle of the winter, unless you know that there's nothing in there. They're very cool, aren't they? Okay. Okay, so December is four. Then November and January is six. October and February is nine. So you think September and March will be twelve? Yeah. Let's see if you're right. Vernal Equinox, that's the one we just had on March 21st. Vernal Equinox is 12 hours of day, 12 hours and 24 minutes of daylight. So you had a good prediction. 12 hours and 24 minutes. And that's close to how many? 12. And then, um, so this is spring, right? Vernal equinox is spring. So that means there's, again, about equal amount of hours of daylight and nighttime. Quack, cock, 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 cock. A pair of ravens tumble and roll in the sky. Oops, I got to get them to the ravens. There's the ravens. Um, their black wings glisten in the bright light. Spring is in the air, yet night and morning temperatures are still below freezing. Diamond dust magically forms above the valley as moist air turns to ice crystals. There's another natural phenomenon. Two bright sun dogs appear in this serious cloud on either side of the sun. A light passes through the ice lace clouds. Two small suns form with colorful halos around them. This day marks the beginning of spring and vernal equinox. There's an equal amount of light and darkness. This is what they're talking about. It looks like more suns than just the one, right? Uh, in darkness, but soon the days will grow longer than the nights. Did I say it was 6.47 a.m. for sunrise? Sunset, 7.11 p.m. Average high is 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Average low is two. Still don't want to be there in March. Now we're starting to climb up. March, April, 15 hours and 52 minutes. So 15 hours, 52 minutes would give us how many? 16. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm writing not paying attention. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Um. 
Um, sunrise is 4.53 a.m. Oh, sunset's 8.45 p.m. The average high is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Average low is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not bad. Drip trickle. The snow and ice are melting, and each day brings light and warmer temperatures. Cumulus clouds billow above the land. The underside of the cloud reflects cold. These, what? I don't usually show you guys the words. I've been showing you the pictures. Right? I, I just didn't have it up high enough for you guys to see the pictures. Thank you, though. These reflections or blinks show the darkness of open water and forests or the lightness of snow and ice. Longer days signal animals to begin their migrations. Caribou herds move towards their calving grounds, so they're going to have babies. The trumpeter swan comes back to their old nest, so there's the trumpeter swan. Um... What was I going to say? I had something else I was going to say. These, yeah, these are trumpeter swans. Yep. All right. So that's April. That was our one we just had spring. What? Oh, the sun. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Look at the sun. The sun is now almost full across the page again. May 21st, we have 19 hours and 24 minutes of daylight. Oh, wow. Some nice weather, too. 19 hours and 24 hour, four minutes would be about 19, right? Yeah. And then it says uh, sunrise is 3.07 a.m. Holy kazoo. Sunset is 10.31 p.m. Average high is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Average low is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. I like that weather. I know. That would be lovely weather. It is totally Miss Richardson weather. You are right. Uh, tweet, tweet. The music of the songbirds has returned. Night and snow in the lowlands have vanished. Rivers flow once again. The world is green. Dappled light dances on the sticky new leaves of the birch and the aspen trees. Near the entrance to their den, wolf pups rustle together right here while their mother basks in the sunshine. The father wolf catches the scent of caribou and trots up the river to find his prey. So the father looks like he's heading up the river to catch his prey. In just one second, let me finish the page. June, oh, I'll have to finish reading the rest of it tomorrow. June 21st, summer solstice. Once again, the endless June days have returned, and light drenches the great wilderness of the land of the midnight sun. The magical light and the explosion of life go hand in hand. Um...